Okay, 86 F-150L, you needed to know how to get the shifter out of a vehicle, or out of a Ford pickup. Specifically, your uh, high boy with the four speed. So we're gonna take the Bronco up, and I'm gonna show you how to do it on a, another four speed that we've got that will be very, very similar. And hey look, the tack decided to work today. Always good to rev your big block to five grand. We like it. Oh well, guess if this motor goes up, we'll either find another 400 or just stick a 460 or 429 in it. Maybe I'll get to build a motor for it. <laughs> you guys will have to check out my next videos because after this, I am going to head into town. And I got me a new go-kart, and I'm gonna go get that uh, 68 Chevy dump truck that I've told you all about. So, check out my next videos and you'll get to see that. So here we are, there's Charlie's decrepit old pickup and the 58, and what we call the naked lady. Oh, geez, it's looking like I'm gonna have to do some hacking here, which shouldn't take but a minute. Okay, as you can see, the interior is fairly gutted in this thing. I just gotta get this boot off here. So we'll get this boot off so we can get to the top of the shifter, and then we'll get back to you. We've got that all torn out of there so you can see down where the shifter is. Now you're probably not gonna wanna do that on your pickup unless you really don't give a rip but the only tool you should really need is a great big uh, slip joint pliers so of course you're gonna need one hell of a good looking camera woman here so the first thing you're gonna want to do is there's a cap on here you gotta take that cap off now this I'm hoping this is the same type of setup as yours 86 but I'm not 100 percent positive I got one more that I can show you on if this is not actually correct and I think we'll do that before we're all said and done here then I can just be all kinds of certain that you know what you're doing so what I'm doing is I'm gonna undo this piece right here you got this screw cap here and guess what that is not the same as yours because yours should have a deal that you push down and I'll show you that here in just a second we're gonna put this one back on so no water or nothing gets in the transmission and ouch I just caught my place where I I got a boo-boo What other one do you have to do? The bail wagon. Okay. We got that cap screwed back on. So now, we'll head over and I'll show you the other option that we've got. Okay, now this is the other option. What you've got is you've got a ring that goes down in here, kind of a dome shaped ring and what you want to do now you can't always get this done by hand but I can I'm gonna try it first and if you can't get it done by hand you just use a great big pliers like this you push down as hard as you can and you'll see that this ring pops as you turn it okay so then you got your shifter out and you can actually see these pins in here that it locks on. This pin right here and this pin right here. And so you see the grooves or the cogs there on this cap. So then when you're going to put it back in, you just take and you make sure your shifter pops in straight and you drop this in until you feel that it's in the right place. 
and then you just push down as hard as you can while you're twisting. Like I showed you, it's a lot of times easier to have a great big pliers like this because it just helps to grab hold of things. <sighs> Sometimes even then it don't work. There we go. Just make sure that you got it locked in. You'll know what you got it locked in because you can see, like if you got it just a little bit off, it won't come back up. And then if you turn it just a little more, it'll just rise up just a little bit. What that's doing is it's locking back into place. So then you put your dust cover on, and you are effectively reinstalled. So, 86 F-150L, I hope that tells you everything you needed to know, and good luck. Let me know how it goes.